Emil Fury. Yeah, it's, Emil, uh, Carlos Marquez. A little classic, the Hulk there, you know, the horse the horse can really worry him. He has three times this year turned around and gone the other way in the ring. So Emil's slowly finding a way to keep the concentration and the focus. And, OK, he's had to compromise a little bit there, but, but now he's got this lovely move off. Slight variation in tempo across that diagonal for the extension. But again, tactfully managed. It's a very, very hard one. Very classy too. That looks lovely. Good reach. Nice and up for us. has one of the nicest massages. Little dropping behind the, the bridle every now and then. That's a better extension. They're um, allowed, particularly in sort of areas like this, where you can get these tiny little flies um, that come out, particularly in wooded areas, and when there's a bit of water about, and they can drive the horses crazy. So it's not a fashion item; it's very much a, an essential piece of kit. It stops the bugs getting in the ears. We were talking about this actually a couple of days ago because, of course, what you what you don't see from the camera angles that when I, I mentioned it just now, but we are literally in the middle of a of a forest here. Yeah. The Forest Park and um, the Grand Jury make a decision at the beginning of the competition, don't they, to say yeah. whether you're allowed to use them or not? And you have to not. take them along to the vet check and they look at them to make sure that they're nothing untoward with them, which is not very really. And you can't put anything else in the ears or anything like that. It's just that, and when you do the vet check afterwards, if you've got them on, they're supposed to be removed and the steward checks them. And, but the difference it makes is phenomenal to the horse's well-being. You imagine, can't you, that it flies and these little biting ones that you get. He's on a fairly good percentage. He's, he's managing it quite nicely. The walk's very skittly and hurried here. That's not a good walk. But his, his average is on about 70%. Emil for you for Great Britain did a 70.426 for the victorious team competition. Doing droppings, they're very well timed, so he's relaxed when he comes into the Piaf. And that's a lovely transition into a super Piaf. You see more sitting Piafs, but there's lovely regularity, lovely height, and a very good transition out. Judge and see Mrs. Mary Seedfried. I mean, quite rightly, they've come down on the walk. The walk wasn't good, but um, you know, the tension's built over, but hopefully, he'll come up very quickly. And the transition here, he's got 7.5. And a very good Piaf massage tour there. That's lovely for the Piaf. Lovely. And nice transition. And somewhat cautious, but nice. Well managed, well ridden. Very elegant picture. A little bit of tension creeping into the massage there. That, and jump together on the strike off. So, you know, maybe a five, five and a half. Recovering, camps are looking nice and settled down. And he really has to manage his horses, this isn't just all you get on and kick. You have to feel your way through everything. A horse owned by Joanne Vaughan, a friend of ours, who has quite an interesting history. She was in the uh, Royal Navy Parachute Display Team. Her profession was a, a Navy lady, computer expert, and she's travelled all over the world jumping out of aeroplanes. Now, uh, lives, rides for Estonia, lives in uh, somewhere in France most of the time. And was very kindly loaned, uh, obviously a British citizen too, and loaned her horse to uh, Emmy, which is, uh, thanks very much, Joanne, great job. <laughs> Very nice, brave one-tenth. Ah, oh, what a shame, one mistake. 
very brave. I mean, you have to be bold, I think, if you, if you think you can get away with it. And I think he didn't quite get away with it there. A little bit, you know, in many ways, the same sort of test as Geordie's test, isn't it? You, real promise, real highlights, and just not quite coming off. And it was a good extension to keep the horse balanced. He usually could do lovely pirouettes, so... Uh, stepping out and skid, skidded out a little bit there, not, not as good as his normal. 9, 1, 10, okay. Nice preparation. A little big, a little to the side. No, no, no busted. And neither Pirouette is going to be high scoring. Just slightly for me losing its focus here. It's not quite as concentrated on the job as it was. I mean, it's still a lovely, elegant picture, but you know, like the corners and the turns are just a little bit, you know, not time to balance them. And that's a cautious passage, getting better now. Good transition into a very classy dinner. Classic photograph. Oh, you, that was clever. You see that? That horse just took a half a step forward. He just stopped it in time to keep it going. But it will take half a mark off the, uh, I'm sure, alert judges down there. And a bit of a walk into halt at the end. Run the weather, Emil Ferry, who's big smile, will get that 70% barrier. British contingent. Yeah, I don't think he's going to break it with that actually. I think it's going to be just below. It's actually getting quite warm out there. It's warmer now than we've seen in the yeah, last well, three days. When we just walked out in the very short break there, it's, it's actually steaming hot. It's really hot. Lovely, beautiful summer's day though. We've got all four members of the great Britain team in the top 30 and we were lots of discussions earlier we think that's the first time that we've seen seen that and of course they won by a clear 12 plus points the gold medal on Thursday now it's all about the individual medals yeah he's on about 68 I think we're going to see Emil on. There's a couple of the judges having him on 70% still. One judge having him in the lead. Judge, judge at H, H, who is Maribel Alonso. Yeah, she was obviously taken. But, um, one judge is in 11. A couple yeah. of 11, one in yeah. first. Mm. So, that's consistency for you. They're consistently inconsistent at times.